All right, this is the unboxing of the Asus U31SD-AH31 from Amazon. Steel is still broken. It's a nice container. Made with soy ink, it says. Right now you can tell it's already uh, nice packaging. Instruction manuals, DVD, user manual, and maybe a cleaning cloth, and it may be another DVD or CD in there as well. This is some of the cords. Standard power adapter, a three prong on one side to a three prong on the other side, like some of the Dells have. The cord looks to be about four feet in length. Standard power adapter, not too heavy. Asus, 19 volt, 4.74 amp negative over positive standard power adapter like the uh, curve shape we'll have to see what the power is on the laptop itself I didn't really uh, take a look at that part when I ordered it very nice very slim packaging here you can tell the laptop feels cold to the touch it's just room temperature in my house very nice and you can see this is the ASUS not too bad on the fingerprints. They're kind of disappearing. A little bit of a uh, the uh, humidity. Didn't pull the battery out. Take a look at that. It's supposed to be an eight cell battery. Specs on this laptop are 13.3 inch screen, 802.11bgn. Nice keyboard. It's got the square chiclet style. They're a little bit more spaced out. When I saw the 11.6 inch, you can tell they were a lot closer together. The blue really stands out on the keyboard itself. Nice trackpad. It's actually positioned towards the middle. Some of the uh, other ones, the Timeline X series that I was looking at, are positioned a little bit to the side. Um, didn't really like that too much. I like the color a lot. The uh, black seems very crisp. The outside's like a gunmetal. It's got a slight burr finish to it, even on this side, if you can tell, it's got a slight burr finish to it, so it looks like it's going to be okay with the fingerprints. It's holding on to a couple right there already. No big deal. It's got a back cover on it. Windows 7 Home Premium. It's very lightweight. I can tell already. I'm going to have to get the battery out here and see. Batteries on this side of the case. Very nicely packaged. Um, almost like a briefcase style. I was expecting a bigger box, which is good though. When it's something that's going to have a great battery life, it shows eight and a half hour battery life. I figure you get around seven with some uh, minor Wi Fi use out of it. The battery pack is just standard weight. It doesn't seem like it's anything obnoxious. Sorry about that noise. Standard battery pack. It's got this little rubber on the bottom of here. And as we attach it there. It's got a couple little tongue, tongue grooves there. Snaps into place. Don't see a lock function, which is a little bit odd. On the side here, he's got the HDMI, two USB ports, 10, 100, 1000, and a VGA port. Here's a multimedia card, SD card, and MS Pro slash Pro card. Some air vents on the front. Major air vent on the side. That's where the CPU is going to be. USB again. I don't believe this one's going to be a powered 
when turned off plug, but um, it's not necessary for me. And headphone, microphone jack. There's the power plug. Not bad. I like it on the side. I don't like it on the back because then I end up lifting the laptop up. And if it's on the back, you can end up breaking the laptop. Here on the side, at least it has some swivel room there. And your standard lock. Very slim. $549 was the price I paid for this. AC's on the, on the front there. Overall, I like it. I'll uh, boot it up and I'll let you guys know what I think. Thank you.